So today I'm here working with Coca-Cola and helping them um, launch their initiative of trying to give away a million rugby balls in the Rugby World Cup year. So it completely varies because obviously we've got all the off-field stuff like our weights, like our speed drills, things like that. Um, when we're on field, especially at the minute with sevens, it's all about our catch pass, making sure that we're getting that as accurately as possible. I know that everyone says it, but it's got to be Johnny Wilkinson. I mean, he was in the limelight from the off with the um, Rugby World Cup and then how he came and just dominated the kicking tee in the, in the um, men's game. So definitely Johnny Wilkinson amongst a lot of others. After the World Cup in 2014, the following of women's rugby has just increased. It's gone from strength to strength again. Um, it's been fantastic to see the amount of support and the amount of people that are now getting behind the girls and supporting the sport, not only in the 15-a-side game, the 7-a-side game, but also taking up touch rugby, tag rugby. Um, it's definitely more readily available, which has helped and I think it's just going to keep growing. After qualifying for the Olympics in June, um, the, mass, the thing that's going to challenge us the most is our own standards. Um, I think it would be quite easy now that we've done it, we've got there, to sit back and, and rest on that, but actually there's 20 players in the system, there's youngsters coming up all the time, you don't know what's going to happen with injury, and every single person in the country is going to try and put their hand up for selection. Um, so yeah, standards driving the squad and driving yourself will be the most challenging thing.